Hi guys. Uh, so I'm actually uh, out of town. I'm in Vegas and I just want to do a review of a new product. Uh, the new Ren Glow Daily Vitamin C Gel Cream. I actually got it in one of my subscription boxes a few weeks ago and I saw that it's now at some of the bigger stores so I thought I would do a review on it uh, just so you guys know whether or not you should purchase this, if it's worth picking up or not. So um, I'll start out with the packaging. So this is obviously the sample size but the full size bottle is, um, let's see, 1.7 ounces and it's in a nice package with a pump so um, the packaging is really nice. Uh, the full size sells for $48, so it's a little bit pricey, but vitamin C products tend to be a little bit more in the pricey range. Uh, so nothing wrong with that. Uh, it does contain good fatty alcohols. However, when it comes to fragrance, let me uh, read you how many different fragrance ingredients it contains, because that's usually one of my bigger things that I'm concerned with. Uh, it is pretty fragrant. It has grapefruit peel oil, orange flower oil, uh, mandarin orange peel oil, tangerine peel oil, and then it also contains uh, citral, limonene, linalu, and then fragrance in and of itself, which is natural. Although it doesn't really matter if it's natural or artificial, uh, fragrance in general just is not the best for your skin. Um, so just be aware that it is pretty fragrant. And then citral is just one of those fragrance ingredients I just prefer to avoid. Citral and geranol, there's a few that are just tend to be way more irritating than the other fragrance ingredients. Um, so that's kind of my biggest concern with it, uh, but otherwise it works very nicely. It's got a nice gel texture to it. Uh, it applies nicely, absorbs rather quickly. Um, I've been trying it now off and on for two weeks, as much as my skin can tolerate, usually in the evenings. Um, but uh, it layers well with other products. It's very easy to use. It absorbs very quickly. I can see how uh, I tend to use this in the evening, but uh, if you use this in the daytime under your foundation, I've tried that and it works quite easily uh, for the most part however it does tend to be on the more drying end of a gel cream so a lot of them can be pretty moisturizing but this one I found just to be a little bit drying so especially in the morning using it under foundation it ended up um, kind of making my foundation crack a little bit and look uneven more so than my normal products that I would use so um, yeah, so that's kind of the downside of it. And then of course, all the fragrance in it. But yeah, if you could look at my hand, it absorbed it pretty much instantly, but um, left it kind of feeling drier than it did before I even put it on. So it's kind of a little bit different, but um, anyway, so in terms of that, it's got a lot of fragrance. Um, very easy to use though. Uh, the Ren brand is cruelty free, which I really like is a good thing. And then in terms of performance, like I said, uh, just left my skin feeling drier than it did before I applied it. So if you have oily skin, you'll probably like that that uh, kind of mattifying effect a little bit more than most people with normal to dry skin. Uh, but I don't know. Otherwise, this kind of just leaves me wanting a little bit more, especially for almost fifty bucks. Uh, although uh, Ren is kind of a bigger brand at Sephora and other stores, so. I don't know, I thought I would review this quick just in case you guys are thinking of picking it up. And then uh, in terms of using it, uh, you know, I just found it to be really drying on my neck area, especially, and my neck got pretty sensitized from some of the ingredients in there. It's got a lot of fragrance. So, but it does contain vitamin C, which is a very good beneficial ingredient. However, I personally think there's better vitamin C products, especially if you're willing to pay $48 for it. Uh, you can get some really decent vitamin C products for uh, less than that. Uh, one I really like that I have to review is Timeless Vitamin C Serum. I know I've been asked to review that, so I definitely will uh, very soon. So that's a really good one. Uh, and if you're more interested in some of the good vitamin C products, you can check out my list of my top five vitamin C products. Uh, so definitely check that out. Uh, otherwise, I, I personally think this one is average, although I'm sure some people will really like it. Uh, it just depends on if you have sensitive skin or skin that's sensitive to some of those fragrance ingredients. So um, anyway, those are some of my kind of quick thoughts. I just want to do a quick video uh, on the road so you guys can be kind of warned about this. So uh, if you guys have had a chance to check it out or try it, uh, let me know. Ren is typically pretty hit or miss with me. Some of the products, they do have some really great products. Their recovery line I really like, but um, some of their other products just tend to have so much fragrance in them. Natural or artificial, it doesn't matter. Your skin can be irritated by it either way. So 
I don't know. Anyway, so, uh, or if you tried anything else from the Ren brand, uh, what have you tried and how have you liked it? So leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, and check out the Amazon link below, nobsbeauty.com. Thank you guys so much.